Alright, guess who's back? Alright, I got this back. And it's running pretty good. Um, the engine got 88,000 miles on it now. Got it from my Audi TT. Oh, yeah. It's pretty alright. I'm uh, probably not going to keep it slow to me because obviously. But it's a pretty cool car. Um, yep. Um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty interesting little ride. Um, let's see here. Some defects, obviously. Let's see here. Some rust bubbles on that fender. On the back. I think just yeah, this door right here. Imagine that door. Yeah. Yep, this came from the title says Michigan, so of course the little glimpses on the hood, but uh, this is a driver, so not too worried about it. Um it ain't too much left to do on it, but I'ma decide. I did most of the no, I did all the heavy lifting. Um I just bought this to save it. Cause it's a wagon and it's cool. Um, most, not most, all the parts are to get this up and running is cheap as hell. So that's why I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's see here. It, the reason for the doors is because one for rust and two for the infamous door latch issue. Cause you don't know what the door latch issue is. Um, Let's see here. This one, you had to. It was easier to cut it out and open it because uh, you couldn't get the panel off from the door panel off from the inside, and I couldn't open it from the inside because they had the, the child lock on. So let's just say I immediately turned that off, <laughs> and the trunk. The, the hatch. I replaced the hatch because it had like a hole, a rust hole right here so while well, i got the doors i got the rear hatch also and you know the rear hatch is pretty cool so i, I was smart enough to get it so that's that on that um all in all let's see here uh let's see here uh the inside is filthy uh i'm gonna take it to get clean because uh it's disgusting, but before I get it clean, I need to get the AC drain fixed, and I need to get the, uh, what you call it, the, um, oh yeah, that relay, that's, the relay, or whatever it is that's on the fan, on the, on the, was it, on the blower motor, that is out, because the AC on the works on high. Uh, let's see here, the check engine light, is for the mass airflow sensor, yeah, that ain't working. Yeah, I think it's just out. Lord knows. Um, there's an airbag module out. Let me turn the wheel. There's an airbag module. Actually, two of them. Uh, inflator thing and a crash sensor or whatever is out. That's weird. But those I'm probably not going to touch. Um, and the brake switch is also out. That's why the cruise control light is on. And that's easy to get to too. It's underneath the underneath the brake pedal and all that. It just uh the cruise control and ironically the cruise control still works because I have never known these wires. I have no clue what they go to, but I'm cut it out. It's already disconnected. I don't know, maybe they have some lights or something. I don't know. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, I gotta get this door module replace um it's simple take the door panel off and then uh you'll get to it and just replace it and the back one is not getting any power so i imagine that one's just dead so I'll probably replace that one too and the call of the day um but oh yeah the headliner is sagging and it's nasty. I ain't never seen no headline like this. So, I need to get this AC drain fixed because it reeks in here with water. Uh, get that fixed. 
And obviously the sagging headline is gonna get fixed because that well it's probably gonna get fixed by the next owner, but it doesn't look too hot, so hopefully it'll get hopefully it'll get fixed by the next owner. But just uh just show y'all it's up and running and it runs good. Oh uh, turn off the AC. Smooth. Yeah, this will probably be a good car for a kid or something. I don't know. Not not too much power, but it has the ability to be tuned. Then you have enough space to put your put all kinds of stuff back there. So I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably end up letting this one go because up to my standards, uh, a whole bunch of stuff had to be changed. So. And it'll start off with those hubcaps. I put those hubcaps on there because they did not come with hubcaps. And I admit the hubcaps do look pretty good, but I just don't like cars with, with steel wheels and hubcaps. It makes it feel cheap to me. And for a cheap car, yeah, this is the cheap model to me. But I do say coming with leatherette seats and the materials on the door panel is actually damn good. Uh, the materials in here are pretty good so uh i think the middle part is yeah the middle part is hard plastic but the rest of it is pretty good so i'm not gonna complain so well uh, all right just a little video sneak peek or not even peek but a little finale of this this i end up replacing the engine like i said with an eighty-eight thousand mile engine from california and let me see here. Yep, I uh, actually got the ticket. I got the ticket, the tag that came on there. See, 2008 Audi TT. There's the VIN number. And yeah, still got a warranty. It's been a while, but I got like, I think four months left on the warranty. So yeah, I give, I give these people a shout out. They're good. They were actually good. The price was good. And it saved the car, so. All right.